I started as a visual artist and I became a photographer. And actually I became sort of a street photographer, which then led me to other things. And I also was a musician and I love music, so I follow the music. I'm not sure why people go out in the world and shoot other cultures. In a way, it's in a, the camera and the whole process is an extension of colonialism or bring it, bring it back alive. I'm always apprehensive when I find myself doing that. I think it's more to find out about my own self and my own culture and to see how it resonates or doesn't resonate with other places in the world. In a way, it's slightly so selfish. You know, it's about yourself as much as it is about them, and if you can't acknowledge that, if you can think that you're just purely objective, then I think you're fooling yourself. I brought my still photographer's eye to the first film that I did. I mean, some people used to say, oh, that's not a film, it's just a series of still images. And then years later, I said, wow, what a great strategy, making just still images that are beautiful. The guy who was the subject of the film, Roscoe Holcomb, who's the, the subject of my new film as well. He was the reason that I wanted to make the film, to, to, to show his world. And it was interesting on the, on the High Lonesome Sound, about one week into the filming, he suddenly said, I don't feel like singing anymore. I don't think I want to be filmed anymore. And that was a great challenge uh, because I had come to make a film about him. He said, but there's a little boy, they say, down the road. He plays a mandolin real good. Let's go visit him. And by the time it was finished, I visited all kinds of places. I visited the, the churches where he was raised, the churches where he sings now, the coal mines. We visited everything. So the film was not only about his music, but everything else but his music. Twelve months from the time I started playing with this old fiddler, I learned, I guess, around 400 tunes. He could sing practically every one of them. That's why I say that it is a gift. And I believe, it, I believe that God gave it to me. A year ago, I decided to make a new film out of the outtakes from the very first film. So this new film that we're going to premiere here on, on, on Saturday night is totally old footage. It's never been seen before, actually, and it's, it's as exciting for me as I hope it is for the audience to see film that hasn't been ever seen before.